This should be another quick video. Um, section two for chapter six is about calculating the total purchase price after you figured out what your sales price is. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to um, we're going to find our sales price or our sales tax, like we did in the last section on the last homework. And then we're going to add that with the actual original selling price before the tax. And then that's going to give us our total price. And um, really the only key concept from this is that um, after you make a sale or make a purchase, you'll get a receipt. Um, I think we probably all know what a receipt is, but just in case you don't, it's just basically a proof of purchase. It can be like a handwritten slip or uh, if you're at a store or something like that, usually it's like a gash or cash register uh, like tape. It's like the little piece of paper. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the example uh, because there's really just not a lot of terms from this section to go over. Basically, it's just the actual math of calculating the sales tax and then adding that with the total uh, price. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick out each of these prices. So it says he bought a two-way radio for $59.99, $19.99, a printer for $79.98, and then, oh, and then a color cartridge for $34.99. So you're going to add all of those up. So that'll be your actual, that will be your actual um, sales price. Plus, say $79.98 plus $34.99. So add all of those up. Let's say $19.99 plus $59.99. Plus seventy nine ninety eight plus thirty four nine nine. So that total sales price is going to be one hundred ninety four dollars and ninety five cents. So what we just did was found this part. Now we need to find the sales tax um, that would actually be added on to that. So we're going to take that number and we're going to multiply it by our tax rate, which he lives in West Virginia, so the sales tax rate is 6%. So you're going to multiply that by 0 0.06, 194, 95 times 0.06. It's going to be $11.60. Actually, I think it'll round up to 70, 70 cents. So we're going to take this number we found here. That's our sales tax. That's the actual tax amount. And we're going to add that with the, with the total um, sales price. So we're just going to take those and add them together. And that's going to give us our total purchase amount. So we're going to take 194.95. Plus eleven seventy. That's going to give us two hundred six point six five, and that would be your answer. So pretty much, you're on the homework. You're going to just be given examples like this, and um, the basic um, outline for how you do these, or formula, I guess you could say, is to just take the sales tax. Um, and add that with the total selling price. So the big part here is just finding that sales tax, just like we did on the last homework.